Paging Dr. Brad, Dr. Brad, paging Dr. Brad. Well, that'd be me. Okay, I've got, uh, <laughs> I have my little satchel here. So what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, we have, <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of cool, but I think it's a cheese knife or something. Letter opener. Um, I, okay, if you know, do some research, if you know what that is, it's really cool. I almost hate to touch it, all right? But it's really cool. And uh, so we have an outside radius, an inside radius, and it's not, the point is sharp. <laughs> it actually sticks. So let's see. I'm gonna use the long handle, okay, the original Sharpen Spark. This is the Sharpen Spark Mini, okay? So this time I'm gonna use the Sharpen Spark. We got the uh, all famous Denver Magazine. Paper test. All right, so let's do this over here. Let me get set up for you. Do paper. Oh, there's a piece. This blade came from a local bar called Heroes. Oh, really? Uh, from a gentleman called Jimmy. Jimmy. And he had, he had a presenter, he had got this and was very proud of it, gave it to a very good friend of ours, uh, and knew what we did on our YouTube channel. I said, we're making that thing famous. So we are gonna demonstrate uh, what I want you to do is... Okay, I can find some writing on it. I can't read it. It's so, very small. RSVP. It Indo is RSVP. Indonesia. Indonesia. Wow. <sighs> that is actually really finely made. This pains me greatly <laughs> it really does because fine craftsmanship uh, Jimmy thank you Jimmy Jimmy thank you all right so obviously oh Brad not am, Even I, you, am I bleeding uh, not yet all right okay, okay. Uh, all right so it does not cut oh I got a skeeter bite oh. All they right. are a flying. They are a flying. Okay, so obviously it is not sharp. Okay, like that. So, wow, I got to go to work on this. I'm going to drag it through. I'm going to do the outside radius first. And I'm going to cut some serious metal off of it. So I'm going to hurry, kind of stop talking. If I, I can't stop talking. So anyway, like this. <laughs> Yeah. Got to entertain us, man. So, just like that. Uh, all the years that I said don't use the V-notch very much, but I've also said if I need to make a knife out of a non-knife, I will drag it through the V-notch. And I wish you could have seen what I did for a bayonet today at the gun shop. Oh. Had absolutely no edge whatsoever on it. And I pushed on it hard and I ripped. And I mean, there was pigtails of thick metal coming off. It looked like the pigtails from a lathe, okay? And uh, so we just do, ooh, ow, 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 ow. skeeters. So anyway, just like that, don't, I was gonna say don't push too hard, but I'm trying to rip metal off, so I'm just gonna rip the metal off of this blade, just like that. I might even sign it and sell it. Why not? It's no good, I mean, it's not like it's no good to me when I'm done. And then tip it like that, tip it up, tip it up, just like that. I'm ripping some steel off of that blade, just like I did on the CDs, DVDs, 45 records, spatulas, and uh, license plates, and all that stuff. Okay, oh, guess what? It's, it's grabbing. sticking to my thumb, okay. Let's do just a little, okay, no, let's not. Let's see. Holy. Now that's actually sharp enough. That would that would actually make a good skinning knife. I don't think it's very sharp out here because you really have to do that. You really have to do this and all the way out. So let's just do this quickly. Interesting. Just like that. Only out there. Let's rip off some steel like a lathe or a mill. Just like that. And right now people are already saying, what is that tool called? What do, what, do, what do you call that? Where do I get that? How can I buy one? Okay, it is a Sharpen Spark Original. This is the Sharpen Spark Mini. This is the Sharpen Spark. We don't call them original. We just call it Sharpen Spark, Sharpen Spark Mini. 
okay? So just like that. So in other words, if I have a hacksaw and I need a knife, I just flip it upside down, leave the teeth up, work on the back, and I just make a knife out of the hacksaw blade. So when I don't have a knife, I look for something to put through the carbide, tungsten carbide V notch, sharp 90 degree corners, all right? So now I'm gonna polish the blade a little bit like this. Set it down, go right on around like that. I'm sure about the last three, five eighths of an inch is not gonna be very sharp because you really have to work on that. So it's just like this, like that. And I'm kind of hurrying along, tip it, go right off like that. Do the same thing on this side, same thing on that side. Now I flip the knife every pass, polish the blade a little bit, get rid of the wire edge. And let's see what we got now. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. And out here we, oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't think it would be that sharp out there. Wow, nice. You got the outer blade. All right, so, yeah, and that's actually pretty sharp. I hate mosquitoes with a passion. They make me itch so bad. All right, oh boy, here we go. All right, so is, is the inside sharp? Nope, it ain't sharp. Someday I'm gonna, no, I won't bleed because I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that to something that I actually thought would make me bleed. And you know what, if you bleed, you heal up. You just, you know, you heal up. All right, so same, let's. Same principle here. But when you get here, I'm not sure how Ooh. it sticks. Okay, so I'm not sure I can do anything with that. So I'm not gonna press as hard. I don't want it to stick. We just run it through there. Oops, don't do that. Okay, quick, come in. There's a little tiny shelf right there that's tungsten carbide. If you do this and you get it on that little tiny shelf up, up there, instead of down in there, you'll actually rip the cutting edge right off the knife. So be careful. Uh, I hit it once in a while because I'm kind of trying to hurry just like this don't press on it now go back four seconds and slow it down or stop it you'll see that I hit that top shelf instead of down in the V there I did it again just like that it's kind of dark down in there and you can't really see exactly uh, where the center of it is so just like this just like that and let's see where we are now we do this see I can do that like this that's easy two corners there's one there's one put the corner on the blade not flat but on the corner and do this so I'm going to put it on my leg rip some steel off just like that so is it 10,000 grit, uh, absolute polished uh, edge and everything? No. It's very functional. It's very handy. It's very pocketable. It's a work edge. It's a way to put an edge on something that didn't actually have an edge, a cutting edge, okay? It is a way to have a sharpener in your pocket that I can sharpen 55 different types of knives, blades, and tools. So if I land right there and come back this way, see I'm landing out here and I just do this coming back towards me land pull land pull land pull just like that it's actually really easy to do that then I'm going to tip it over and do the same thing this way all right hey Cabo you want to play ball just like that and yes we are in a dog sitting yard so just like that like this like that like that like that that that, 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 Oh, that is really thick. Oh, this is not going to cut. Okay, I didn't, I didn't quite realize how incredibly thick the back is. Well made. Well made. Hey, Cobb. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I know you guys want in on it. Oh, I'm going to rip some steel off. Just like that. Come right in here like this. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. 
Wow. Just like this. Well, you really can hear it work in the middle. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a file. It's actually kind of like a, a, an aggressive file. Just like that, like this. This is the easy part, taking that little wire edge off. Just like that. The back, the back has got to be a 32nd of an inch thick. So. I think we're going to have it, to make it later. It'll halfway sharpen. Yeah. It's not going to, but you know what? This side. What a beautiful piece. Sharpensbest.com. Brad Buckner. You know what? Look us up. We got a bunch of shorts that we just put on that are really cool. Uh, do you know, an electrician comes to your house, he tells the gal when he goes to work, I'm going to remove your shorts and I'm going to fix your box. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. We'll see you later.